would you kindly join me for another episode of Bioshock Infinite? This is Jewel Smith, and I am playing my way through Bioshock the Collection. We just fought a big old battle here. And I think there's still somebody lurking around down here that needs to get shot. Alright, what's in here? Come on! There we go. There we go. Oh, okay, I can attach to that. There's something over there, and something up there, and something up there. Oh, boy, do we have to go all the way up there? Can you hear him? You can hear him. Where is he? Down there somewhere? Oh. Alright, I'll attach. Let's see where this little joyride takes us. They're down there. Alright, medical kits. Oh, okay, sure. Open it. There. Take one. More dudes coming out, huh? You know, in most games, I don't like doing the, uh, that kind of charm spell. Oh, hello. That makes them fight each other. In Skyrim, it's frenzy. And, uh,. In Bioshock 2, there was a version of it as well. I can't remember what it was called. I see him.
there anything else over here? And there's no map in this game. I know I've said that before, but I'm just pointing it out again. There's no map, so you can only, you know, you just have to explore the environment to figure out. Oh, yeah, let's do that. There you go. To figure out what there is and where you can go. Oh, this is all full, huh? No, I don't want the hand cannon. I'm good. What's over here? Anything? Stop the box. Is there a shooting gallery here? Can we open this? No. Surrender. There you go. Return fire. My ghostly turret. this turret going. So let's see where this goes. Oh, there's a mosquito up there, huh? Oh. This is where we were before, I think. Lower throttle here. Looks like there's two separate tracks. Anything up there that I can get to? No, 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 no. no. Slow your roll, slow your roll. those folks for me. Oh, I've already got an RPG. Is that where we were before? Or is that something new down there? Alright, let's take a look at this. What's going on back here? Columbia Chronicles? Ooh. Well, Fitzroy. You... You got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to... To bleed one of your couriers... Till he gave you up. Except, of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. Yeah, this Preston guy is an asshole. I'm not exactly sure who he is or what his role in all of this is. He doesn't seem to like Daisy Fitzroy. 
don't know, there may be part of his story that I've come across before and I just don't remember it, but he was also involved in that gruesome bedroom we found back in, I think it was Soldier's Field. He's some kind of Pinkerton or agent or something. I don't know what his deal is. But he keeps turning up. Alright. So, he killed a little kid. I think I want to get down there. Because I want to loot all these fools that I've been shooting. I need some ammo. And some salt. There we go. Is this where we need to go in? Alright, that's where we have been over there. I don't think we've been up in there. Alright, let's go up there and see what we can find. Get in there? No. There's salts here. Sniper rifle. Nope, don't need it. I want some more machine gun ammo, please. Is there a way to get up there? I think this is where those turrets were that I had to destroy. off the edge. In the last episode, I had to do that. Alright. I guess we'll get off here. It looks like we can go can we go further up? Maybe not. Wow, I really, really wanted more ammo. What about over there? Can I get on top of that? It looks lit up, like I might be able to get up there. Alright, well let's go in here and see what's what. I need to do some lock picking. Oh, it's a hairpin lock. This. Give me a second. So it shouldn't take any yours. lock picks. So to be honest, I don't even really know why it needs to be there. Leaving Shantytown. Are we leaving Shantytown? Are we ready to leave? Well, I sure hope I can pick up some ammunition in here. Alright, let's go. Where to next? The Bull House Impound. The Bull House reminded me of the... Uh, I didn't even get a chance to finish reading that. All visitors must submit to search. Well, don't think that's going to happen. Can I get up behind these? Yeah, I can. Anything back here? No goodies hidden back here? Guess not. On. Is there a dollar bill around here? I need some ammo. It's foolish. What's 
foolish. Booker, grab that lockpick. What lockpick? In here? Oh, there it is. Oh, got a little bit of ammo, I think. Pick up repeater. No, I'm good. All right, Fitzroy spotted. Let's look at the kinetoscope. Fitzroy spotted. Vile Vox Populi leader Daisy Fitzroy. Something, something I didn't get a chance to read because it went by too fast. The great prophet has foreseen her end. Only he can protect us. over here. Can we get into this stuff? I guess we have to go through. Columbia Authority. Oh, we need cover, Drop huh? The there you go! After him, quickly. Perfect timing. Thanks. That's what I needed. Ooh, what is this? Crank gun. No, I don't want the crank gun. Thank you. So I'm just going to wander in here and shoot up a police station, huh? Anything to loot in here? Doesn't look like it. Flush him out! I'll kill you! I go kill your friends for me. me. Oh, that what's in here? Can I get anything in here? Oh. Is mine, say it. Come on, it shouldn't be this hard. Oh shit. Lay down your weapon. Oh crap. My aim is oh, true, God. as my eye is the prophet's. Oh, and he's got nothing on him? Really? Oh, what a bummer. I teach you a lesson. There he is.
Oh, in here it says protecting our faith. That's different. Because in the other reality, we're in an alternate reality right now. We went through a tear into an alternate Columbia. But in the previous Columbia that we were in, it would say protecting our race. This says protecting our prosperity and protecting our faith. That's different. That's different. And defending our values. They argued something fierce at night. Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. Yeah, I guess in this alternate reality and in the other Columbia, she was framed for the murder of Lady Comstock. I'm thinking she's framed. I don't think that she actually did it. Alright, I'm just looking around. Seeing what there is to see. There we go. Oh, medical kit. Oh, dang. What? Nope, go shoot your friend. Oh, it's back here. In combat, can't lock it. God dang it. Alright, are we out of combat it's now? Get more RPG ammo? I'm gonna take that. I should be. Okay, I guess I'm full up. Is that all I can do? Alright, we've seen this board before. Oh, Morgan Creed shot him dead. Abernathy Cook dead. Michael Cassius dead. I don't think they were dead before. But they're still looking for Daisy Fitzroy in this reality. Maybe they were maybe they're dead in this reality that they weren't dead in the other one. I don't remember. Oh. I meant to pick it up, not not jump in there. There's the job and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox and I take their money, but What's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. If Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. Oh, we found that key. We found that key in the previous episode, I think. In the graveyard shift. We, we've been in there. Okay, we've maxed out our shield, so now what are we going to do? Um, uh, I'm going to go for health. I like being hard to kill. Feel better already. Alright, the evidence locker key. Well, that's the key we have picked up. So let's... Oh, hello there. We'll take you. Now we gotta find the evidence locker, wherever that is. Hmm. I wanna make sure I search everything. Oh, locker room. 
What's this? Nah, probably not the same thing as the evidence lockers. Yeah, this is the uh, the locker room for the, the cops themselves. Anything? Anything to pick up? Are those lock picks or anything? No. Her eyes so blue, her skin so white, or are they? We must all be vigilant to ensure the purity of our people. Okay, so they're still racist here too. I see a lock pick over there. Where? Where do you see a lock pick? I thought these looked like lockpicks, but I couldn't pick them up. Are they glitched? She was looking in this general direction. But I don't... I can't seem to get a... If that's them, I can't get a hitbox on them. I don't see any over here. Wouldn't be the first time that something was glitched in this game. We have encountered some odd little glitches before. Alright, that looks like it's a dead end that way, so let's go this way. We've been all through there. Alright, let's see. We can get in here. That won't take but a minute. Let her do her luck picking thing. And then head in here and see what we can find. Shock jacket. When struck, 50% chance to shock nearby enemies. Victims take 50% damage. Vulnerable for two seconds. Alright, what do I have on? Ammo advantage increases clip size for all weapons by 75%. I think I'm going to stick with that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with that. And another infusion. Alright, let's go ahead and do our salts this time. We haven't done the salts in a while. Let's go ahead and do the salts. Ooh, that's a lot of carbines. I'm gonna stick with my machine gun. Even though I'm a little low on ammo. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope. Oh, now here we go. Protecting our race. Okay, they've still got it here. Still got it here in this world, too. Oh, it's right there. Yep, okay. There's still a bunch of racists here as well. Alright, this is where, right, we fought the motorized patriot. Okay, yeah, we, we gotta go downstairs. We haven't gone downstairs yet. I think we've searched all of this. Oh, what's back here? Oh, right. We, we've been in here. Okay. Let's head down. Oh, okay. There they are, the tools. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox. And then we get our airship. Oh, yay, machine gun ammo. A little bit. A little bit. Well, how are we gonna get these back to the Good lord, how are we gonna get all that? Got a lock, needs picking. Really? That little old. How lock. are we gonna get all that back to Chen Lin? Done. Alright, so I was saying in an earlier episode Who are that... we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? Oh, I guess it's she's gonna, gonna us. have a conversation. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. Anyway, uh, I started to say before I was so rudely interrupted by Elizabeth. <laughs> uh, I was saying in an earlier episode that uh, I was not real keen on this being a shooter. 
I mean, not that I mind shooter games, right? I mean, I play Fallout 4, I play Skyrim. Well, Skyrim's not really a shooter shooter, but you know what I mean. I like using archery in Skyrim. I've played the previous Bioshock games. But I had issue with the fact that in the previous Bioshock games, the things you were shooting were things. They were no longer people. They were spliced up. They were splicers. They were spliced beyond all humanity. They could not be redeemed. They were monsters, is what I had said. And, and I said, but the people here, I feel... I mean, okay, don't get me wrong, though, okay? I don't feel necessarily bad for defending... You know, as Booker, I don't imagine he would feel bad defending himself. Because if it comes down to, you know, it's you or me, you know, you gotta defend yourself. And I don't feel bad. Oh, thank you, dead lady. Full of cockroaches. The founders will bleed. And I don't feel bad for the Vox Populi rising up against their oppressors, right? I get it. I totally get it. Um, you know, and I, I had said that, you know, just because... Well, we sure as hell aren't going to be able to carry all this back to the shop. No, God, we're not. I think this all the way through. I mean... What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at, at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this tear... I don't think there's any turning back. So we're going through tears sure within tears? She keeps saying that. Let's go through, but we can't get back. Are you sure? It's like, don't don't make it seem like I have a choice when I don't really have a choice, game. <laughs> um, you know, I really don't like when games do that. When they try to make it seem like there's this interactive component that you've got some kind of moral choice to make or something. And you really don't. I mean, there's just really... The only choice is you just stop playing the game. That's the true choice. You just you have to go along with the game or you have to not play the game. That's it. So, you know, don't don't present it to me like, oh, are you sure you want to do this? No, you know I have to do this. I don't have any other option. Trophy earned, on, armed revolt. Dyke, and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. So does that mean if the Vox get their weapons? There's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, so does this mean that we're back in our previous timeline or our previous reality, or is this a completely different reality? Is this a third alternate reality? Anyway, what I was saying earlier though... Oh jeez, here we go. They just really- this game doesn't give you any- <laughs> any time to like, have a breather. It throws so much at you. Anyway, I was saying that uh, the people, the splicers in Bioshock were monsters. And these people here, well, I said they were racist. And you know, in retrospect, that makes them monsters too. But I guess I just feel like, at least with a racist, there's a chance to change their mind. I found some money. You ever see a forest at the beginning of a fire? For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we gonna see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. Alright, so the uprising is happening. That's what that's telling us. Anyway, um... Oh, this guy. He's all glitchy because of the alternate reality. 
These are all the guys that I killed already. My salts are full. Anyway, I mean, I just, I kind of feel like it's, 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 it's shorthand to just say, oh, these people are all racist. Every last one of them, they deserve to be shot because they're part of this. Oh God, like it never was. How is it gone? Part of this bad world, this, this oppression. Look here, look here. But, you know, the thing is, though, is people who make, what's the saying? If you make non-violent resistance impossible, then the only alternative is violent resistance. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Oh, is this more backstory here? Okay. All right, so what am I doing here? Return to the gunsmith shop. Return to the gunsmith shop again. You have entered a new world where the Vox have weapons. Return to the gunsmith shop. Okay, so is this a third reality? This isn't even back to the original reality now. Oh, let me take a deep breath um, and try to gather my thoughts. It's, it's hard for me to try to articulate what I'm thinking while I'm also trying to think about the game and search and shoot and do all these other things and kind of absorb everything that the game is throwing at me. Okay, yes. People who... Columbia here, it's not just that they're racist. It's that they are violently racist. They are doing horrible, horrible, violent things against people and they're treating them horribly. So yes, that makes them monsters. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I feel bad about shooting them <laughs> because, you know, I, I sympathize with their, with their racism. I don't, um, I just, but I, I don't know. Like I said, I just, I feel like it's too much of a shooter. It's, it, they're just throwing tons and tons and tons of, of people at me and I'm supposed to just plow through them like, like death with his scythe or something. And it's just... I don't know. I mean, I get it. That's that's what they decided to do. It just seems like too much to me. I liked the Bioshock games because there were things that, you know, there were enemies you had to defeat and there were different types of enemies that had to be defeated in different ways, but it didn't always, it didn't seem like I was in a shooting gallery, you know? And like I said, it didn't feel like I was just murdering, 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 murdering people. And, and I tend to not like to play games where it's a whole lot of murdering of people. Even if those people are abhorrent, even if those people are, are you know, terrible people. Um, you know, it's like, that's one reason why I couldn't play, uh, what was it, the Uncharted games. Because he would go somewhere to some temple and there would be a whole bunch of henchmen. And yes, they're shooting at him so he has to defend himself. But it's just, it's just you know, you're, you're, you're shooting all these people in the head. It's like, you know, these folks... <sighs> I don't know. I just have a hard time with games like that where it just cheapens human life. I mean, like Fallout 4. I've said this in Fallout 4. Um, you know, McCready was a gunner and then he left the gunners. And every time I shoot a gunner in Fallout 4, I feel like that could have been McCready. You know? So to be so cavalier and to and to be so dismissive of you know all the murder that one has to commit in a video game it does bother me now i'm not saying you know video games are the reason why people lose their minds and you know take a gun in real life and shoot people and all that i'm not saying that i'm just saying you know it bothers me i don't personally like to play video games where there's so much disregard for human life um you know, but okay, I, and I, I guess I would even I would even feel differently if, say, I was playing through this as Daisy Fitzroy, right? If I was, because I've played through Dishonored, right? Dishonored is a is a, a franchise where you go around and you have to kill a lot of people. That's kind of the whole point. It's all you know, stealth and jumping and doing you know assassinations and yada yada yada, right? I get it. And even like in Skyrim too, there's a whole lot of killing in Skyrim. You know, you gotta kill bandits, you gotta kill evil necromancers and all of that. I guess I wouldn't feel so bad if Booker actually cared about the cause. Like, if he was one of the oppressed people in Colombia, let's say. Let's say he was a person of color who was oppressed and who had had his family killed. And, you know, who was rising up against these folks who had directly harmed him. 
then I would even, I, I would be fine with it, I guess. You know, I would just be like, well, yeah, he's fighting a war and, you know, this is what he's got to do because he has no other alternative. But he's not. Booker is this, this is the same problem I have with Dishonored 2. In Dishonored 2, I played through as uh, the the Empress, right? Emily Caldwin. And I felt like I really hated her. I, I didn't really enjoy that game very much because I felt like, why should I help her get her thrown back? She's a bitch. She, she's a horrible leader and she's immature and she's oppressing the people and it's terrible, right? And I, and I kind of felt bad. Like, why am I playing as her and why would I want to help her? And, you know, um... I kind of feel like that with Booker when I found out that, oh, he's just trying to do this job. He was going to sell Elizabeth to somebody. He's, he's human trafficking to pay off his debts and doesn't even care that anything bad is happening here in Colombia. And so all of that murder just feels, it feels like murder. And I don't like feeling like a murderer when I'm playing a game like this, I guess. I don't know. It's just, it's not, it's not really working for me. It bothers me. All right, we've already looked at all this. I think we've already, there's nothing we can pick up in here. I'm gonna keep playing it. I'm gonna keep playing it, but I'm kind of disappointed that this is, this is the way it's going. Of course, maybe he'll eventually redeem himself. How, did we ever get in there? Did we ever get through that door and manage to get through there or is it not possible to get in there? It looks like it's not possible to get in there. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I know, at the end of the day, it's just a game. It's just a game. Oh, dang. What is this? Uh. Oh, these don't look good. Yeah, let's get out of here. The bullyard. Back out to the bullyard. Elizabeth's got feelings for the folks in Shantytown. Feelings. Okay, we've seen that before. Anyway... Oh! What the hell's going on out here? That sounded like an Irish accent. Alright, so in this world... There's a big ol' uprising. The box are taking over everything. Whoa. So, where are we gonna go? Where do we need to go? Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think that's, that's my feelings about this are if, if Booker was actually someone who I mean, he's, he's a mercenary. He's a, he's a Cold-blooded mercenary. And there's a whole lot of shooting. This is much more of a shooter than the previous Bioshock games, and I just, I just don't like it. Is that one of the good guys? Is he on my side? He doesn't seem to be shooting at me. There doesn't seem to be any tears here for me to open up and do anything. Alright, so where do we need to go?
it's like the old, you know, I'm not trying to be an apologist for, for, uh, for racists, right? There's that old argument in the real world about, you know, punching Nazis. I, I am all in favor of punching Nazis, all right? I really am. We heard a few episodes ago that was from the 60s. Alright you guys, I'm gonna have to say thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. The game just saved and my alarm just went off telling me I've been playing for almost an hour. So I need to stop and upload this video to YouTube so you can share my adventure along with me. Let me know what you think of this game. Let me know what you think of Bioshock Infinite compared to the previous Bioshock games, compared to other games. Let me let me know what you think of the themes, of the storytelling, of the gameplay. I'd like to hear from you. Just don't give me any spoilers. Maybe it'll all make sense later. Maybe Booker will have a redemption arc and become more than just a hired killer and human trafficker and shitty gambler. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. So, join me for the next episode of Bioshock Infinite. Until then, take care of yourselves.